I feel like I'm the public service announcement at this uh, meeting. Uh, and let's move forward. There we are. I just want to tell you quickly about uh, WestEd. Uh, we're a not-for-profit research and development company. We've been in business since 1966, and we are focused on improving what happens for students in schools, as well as it continues before regular K-12 K and afterwards. So we work in the whole spectrum. Uh, in 2008, the National Assessment Governing Board, which most of you have probably never heard about, but I know those of you that looked at the news or heard the news or read the news or went online and saw the news, last week the nation's report card came out in mathematics once again. And um, this is the NAEP test, the National Assessment for Educational Progress. And our role now is in 2008, as you can see, the National Assessment Governing Board uh, had a paper developed and looked at the notion of having the first assessment of our students in grades 4, 8, and 12 assessed on their technological literacy. And we thought that was very uh, meaningful to this group, and it is going to happen. And currently, everyone goes, what is technological literacy? Well, we brought together a group of people and representing both industry as well as schools, universities, uh, engineers, and so on. And we tried to come up with how could we assess the knowledge and skills that students need to know and be able to do. And you can see from our sort of pyramid triangle with the circles, in the blue you'll see the three main content areas that we'll be assessing students on will be design and systems, information communication technologies, and technology and society. In the yellow around that, you'll see those are the skills, we think, that are integrated into these three areas. And that's identifying and applying principles, communicating and collaborating, and using processes to solve problems and achieve goals. These, when you start reading now, there's a lot of cliches around 21st century skills, but we think this assessment will actually capture what students will need to know and what skills they'll need in the, in the technological literacy area. Uh, the framework, uh, we're currently putting out a draft uh, that is in its final stages. Uh, we have recommended to the National Assessment Governing Board that the probe that's done in 2012 will be done at the 8th grade level and possibly at the 4th grade level. And uh, the other thing we're responsible for, that you see these background variables, that's just what opportunities to learn have students had in these areas. This is the slide that I think is most important to this group. Why in the world should you guys care about this? I know working with Silicon Valley companies, HP and others, uh, the first question a lot of people get when they try to recruit new people is, how are your schools, not how expensive are the houses? Um, that's usually the second question. So we're very concerned about quality of schools, the quality of the education students are getting around technological literacy, and this framework will address a lot of those, as well as quality of workforce readiness. I was in the speaker's lounge and somebody told me they have to hire people in Serbia because their mathematical skills are better than they can find in this country. Our outreach efforts so far have been to a number of companies as well as organizations. On our panel, we had people like Vince Cerf sitting on the steering committee. We've had people from Apple, Cisco, Oracle, as you can see, the laundry list of people we've approached already, as well as large national and international organizations around technological literacy. Now here's where it comes down to in the beginning. John mentioned, sometimes we need help. The help we need from you doesn't cost anything other than a little of your personnel time people that maybe are involved in community outreach or your education outreaches or just within your engineering and te technological workforce. We need people to learn about the framework and give us feedback before it becomes hard copy, not going to change for over 10 years once it's in print. And the assessment will be developed and begin in 2012, and this will go at least till 2022. So we're not going to be saying, how well do you use a piece of software? It's going to be very open-ended. It's all online. And we hope that you may be interested in contacting us about an outreach webinar that we can put on for your own corporation or a group that you put together. Uh, host a public forum for us. You can go to our website, and I know a number of you out there with your Blackberries, computers, and uh, iPhones, please put in our website. Uh, you'll see the work that we've done to date. And for more information, you can 
go to these websites, the National Assessment Governing Board, as well as NAEP. Once again, that's the National Assessment for Educational Progress, and for us, the nation's report card. And we hope, in the long run, with your help, this framework will turn out to be what we hope it can do to assess our students into the future around technological literacy. And I want to thank you for your time and the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.